Hi, this is Ali Rangel for Game Visuals. What you're going to learn to, in this tutorial today is how to bring an animation from Blender 2.91 into the Godot game engine. Uh, you're going to learn how to set up an animation tree that allows your character to animate through its idle pose. And then when you push a button, you'll activate the animation that you brought in from Blender 2.91. As I work my way through this tutorial, I try to not only explain what I'm doing, but why I'm doing what I'm doing. The mech that you see uh, on the screen now will be provided to you. I'm a 3D modeler, animator, uh, as well as rigger. Uh, I made this mech. After you download the mech, you can use it in whatever projects you would like to use it in. That's fine with me. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope that you enjoy it. When this tutorial goes up, there should be a link in the description that will allow you to download the mech that you see on the screen. Hi, this is Ali Arango of Game Visuals. Today I'm going to show you how to bring animations from Blender 2.91 into the game engine Godot. So let's get started. What you should see on your screen is a time lapse of me setting up an idle animation as well as a walk cycle animation. This time lapse should take about a minute. I wanted to leave this in the tutorial so that if you chose to, you could slow down the video and see how the process of making the idle animation as well as the walk cycle animation uh, is done. Once you have your two animated poses done, you can check them by clicking the uh, it's like a arrow there. So we can see that we have these two poses, which is what we want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the upper left of this screen. We're going to go to the nonlinear animation editor, which is this here. So see this idle pose here? This is very important uh, that you do this before you bring these poses into Godot. Here's the idle pose here. What you want to do is go to this button here and select push down action. So I'm going to left click so you can see. Now this has been pushed down, so to say, and here's the pose. So now I want to make sure that I have the walk animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this arrow here, select walk, when I do that, now we can see here's the uh, walk pose. So I'll do the same thing. I'll go to this push down action button and then select that. So uh, with these two buttons selected, I mean, with these two actions uh, pushed down, we'll be able to see these actions inside of Godot. If you don't push the actions down, you might not be able to see these actions. So I'm going to select here and name this walk. And the reason why I'm doing that is this right here, we can see that the track is named walk, but here now like this idle pose is named NLA track. So we'll select this and rename this to idle pose. Okay, so once we have these named, what we can do is go to layout Okay, I'm gonna select this floor, press X to bring up the delete button, and then choose delete to delete the floor. I just brought the floor in to help with animating. I'm gonna select this camera, press X to delete that, click here, uh, which was that light to delete that. I uh, selected these just, not just, I selected them because 
I want to only uh, have what I'm bringing into. Into uh, Godot. So I'm selecting the custom shapes here. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to delete hierarchy to delete all of those uh, custom shapes. This cube does not appear to be anything. So I'm going to right click here, then select delete hierarchy. And the reason why I did that is I don't want anything other than what I'm planning on uh, bringing into Godot. So uh, with those other objects deleted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Export, and then we're going to this GLTF 2.0. And you can see the rest of the information there. So we'll select that. Once we select that, you want to look to the upper right, you'll see this format. We're going to change this to GLTF embedded with this other information here. Uh, the way things are set up is everything that we have in Blender currently is going to move to Godot. Uh, another way, sometimes people will go and select exactly what they want and bring that into Blender. I prefer to uh, kind of do it the opposite and get rid of everything that we don't want to come and then just let Blender bring everything in. Okay, so once you have this set up, you want to uh, make sure you know where your GL GLTF file is going to go. Uh, this used to take a decent amount of time to do. When I've been working with, when I say this, I'm talking about uh, bringing a, a file out of Blender as a GLTF file. Uh, now this works fairly quickly. So with these default, just that one change, you know, set up and everything else left as default, we're going to select this uh, export GLTF 2.0 button. And just that quick, uh, that export has been done now. Okay, what you're looking at here is actually a thumb drive folder. Uh, Godot does not have to be installed on the system. It can run right from an executable file. So what I'm going to do is click uh, right here. So here is Godot. Uh, what Godot is, is Godot is a, a, a free open source game engine. It does 2D as well as 3D graphics. Uh, so what we're going to do to start everything off is we're going to select new project and then we're going to name this Blender to Godot Animation. Once you uh, select a name, you then select Create Folder. Uh, this, you can click here, this Browse button, to pick where you want your game to be placed at. I'm fine with this default setting right here. Once this is all done, uh, you can go to Create and Edit. So here we are at the uh, start off of a brand new file in Godot. Okay, as far as how Godot works, up here is the main menu in Godot. You can switch between 2D as well as 3D. Uh, a lot of times after you've picked your first, you know, whether you're working on a 2D game or a 3D game, uh, a lot of times the main thing you'll go to up here is the script button where you can work with your scripts. Uh, you can get to assets right here using this uh, asset library button. Uh, when you're working in a 3D game, when you're working on UI, you'll oft often tend to go to 2D to, to make up the UIs uh, in a 2D perspective. If you look to your left, the file system uh, is along here. If you look down, this is the system dock right here. This is where you'll tend to 
you can actually uh, drag assets into here or you'll see your main assets here. When you're working with animations, you'll work with this bottom bar right here. Uh, this bottom section here tends to open up and show you whatever you're you're working on. Uh, this is this uh, dock over here is very important. This is the inspector dock. This is where you work with properties of the different uh, objects that you work at as you work through your game.